Hello and welcome to a new series of training videos by Schools Broadband. As part of upgrading our customer FortiGates to a new version of FortiOS this summer, we have produced a series of short videos covering some of the basics. This is because the look and feel of the interface is different to what you might be used to. This video will cover virtual IPs or VIPs. A VIP is an inbound NAT policy usually mapping a real-world public IP to an internal private one. They are used when you want to expose an internal service such as a web server, LDAP server or something similar to the internet. In this scenario, I'm going to allow access to a private web server that uses port 80. As you can see on our FortiGate, there are two interfaces configured, a LAN port and a WAN port. Our web server sits behind the LAN port on 10.0.0.10 and I am connecting to the FortiGate on the IP configured on the WAN port. We can check our outbound policies by going to policy and objects, IPv4 policy. And as you can see, we have a simple outbound policy configured, allowing traffic on these ports up to the internet. To configure the VIP, we go to policies and objects, virtual IPs, and click create new virtual IP. We'll give the VIP a relevant name, the web server going to tell the FortiGate what interface we're configuring behind. In this case, it's the WAN port. I only have one IP available to me, and that is the IP I'm connecting to the FortiGate on, which is 192.168.0.10. My web server is 10.0.0.10. I'm connecting to this FortiGate on this IP. I'm going to port forward port 8080, which is my port I'm going to expose to port 80 which is the port the web server uses. At this point, this the VIP is now ready to use. Um, as you can see here by the zero, we're not actually using it in any policies yet. To use the VIP, we're gonna go back to policies and objects, IPv4 policy. We're gonna click create new. We're gonna click incoming interface and select our WAN and our outgoing interface, which is our LAN. You can think of this as the flow of the direction of flow through the FortiGate. Our source, we don't want to expose a web server to just everything on the internet in this case. So we're going to select a uh, test PC object. That is essentially going to only allow access from my test PC to the web server. For our destination, this is where we actually select our VIP. You can see the one I created earlier, web server. I'm going to select that. Now we're only allowing port 80 through this VIP. So we could in theory select all services, but just for sake of keeping the port gate tidy, we're just gonna select HTTP here, which is port 80. We don't need NAT enabled on this policy, so we're gonna turn that off. And we're gonna turn logging off on this policy as well. We're gonna hit okay. You can see here, our policy has been created. We can hover over various sections to show us what we've got configured. So the test PC is on 192.168.0.10, that's me. And our web server is the VIP we configured earlier, which is mapping 0 0.110 to 10.0.0.10, 8080 to port 80. In theory, I can now go to 192.168.0.10. Port 8080 access my web server and keep for watching.